Hey guys, how, how are you doing? Is it fun tonight? I just got here a few minutes ago. Um, so I wanted, I wanted to tell you about myself. Um, by the way, this guy is awesome. Yes, he, but that's no lie. This Jew, awesome. So uh, I want to tell you about myself. Uh, my name is April, I'm named after a month. May. I legally changed it to April because I want to be cool. Um, that costs a fortune, like a thousand dollars. I can't afford my rent now. Oh, but it was worth it. Um, I live in a duplex by myself. I uh, I draw a lot of cats because I'm a cat lady at heart, and I can't afford the pet deposit, three hundred and fifty dollars. So I just I just take uh, pictures of cats and put them all over my apartment. So I'm an aspiring cat lady. Um, that's that's where I want to be. Um, a lot of my friends want to be actors or comedians. I really am just doing this so I can be a cat lady for real. Like I'm hoping to make it as a comedian so I can pay for cats. I think it's three fifty for cats. So I need to like I have a few years. I might even get cancer before then. Um, <laughs> it's pretty cool though because, uh, you know, if I find a cricket or a, like a little like daddy long leg spider in my in my duplex, hey, you can stay a free pet. It's like a free pet. So I'm like, you can stay in my abode. Make yourself cozy. I'll even feed you pieces of strawberry. I'll even find bugs for you. Will you just stay here? I need a pet, a free pet. I can't let my, if my landlord found out, oh my god, I, gosh, um, she'd call pest control, okay, so I can't tell her. Um, <laughs> yeah, growing up, um, I, wa I want to tell you the kind of girl I am growing up. Um, I was the kind of girl who would bake cookies and sell them, yay, that's a little, little side business, and then I'd spill cloves on the kitchen floor in my friend's, my friend's kitchen and then vacuum it up and hope her mom doesn't notice that I vacuumed up clothes. She uh, had a clothey vacuum, spice vacuum. Like it's a whole new Spice Girl spice vacuum. <coughs> um, and then uh, I also would, to prove a point to my brother, because I didn't want a brother, I wanted a sister. I have a younger brother, guys, it sucks. <sighs> um, I would, uh, Put egg in his hair during arguments. Just hope he learns his lesson. Um, one time we were fighting outside. He was on his tricycle. I just pushed him off his tricycle. <laughs> he didn't get a concussion though. I'm like drats. Oh, so thing, you know. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm sick. I'm getting all over this mic. Eh. Is anybody sick before me? I don't want to get re-sick. <sighs> okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I also, I, I didn't want a brother. I tried to trade him as a young girl. Um, my mom's like, hey, April, I'm pregnant. Her voice is really high pitched. She's like, hey, April, I'm pregnant. I'm like, <coughs> with what? She's like, baby, <laughs> brother. I'm like, I'm like, mom, I want a sister. And I'm like, four. <laughs> and we got snowballs. Why did something have sex with skeletons and Halloweenies? This guy. Give it up! I think I translated that right, I hope. He should be in here. He shouldn't be on the streets. Okay. Um, so yeah, I tried I tried to uh, I my my friend in kindergarten at Falls Elementary School in Phoenix, Phoenix. Anybody go there? Balls Elementary? It's a pedophile school? No, I don't know. I think it's B A L S B A L S Z or something. It's lame. It's an actual name. Um, yeah, this guy knows. <laughs> so she's like, she's like my uh, my urban friend. I, I actually braided my hair so I could be like her. I learned a French braid at a young age. Um, I grew up in the ghetto, I guess. I don't know. Um, we had, we had people dying in the apartments across the street all the time, so I think we were like in Arcadia, but like a little south of there. 
Um, yes, okay. Um, <coughs> sorry. So, um, she's like, yeah, my mom's having a girl, and like, I don't want, I want my brother. And I'm like, girl, let's make a train. <laughs> you meet me in the alley when she's born. I'll meet you, and I'll bring my brother, and we'll trade. Let's write up a contract. So I wrote up a contract. It was going so great. And then uh, I left it out on my bed one day. And my mom's like, what's this? Her high-pitched voice that she doesn't really have. Um, and I'm like, she can, it was like, it was like pictures. Like I, can, I probably couldn't write. It's probably just pictures of like, like baby and like a pregnant lady and then like another pregnant lady. And then it says like, you know, um, like I put like a knife through a belly and just like, I don't want a brother. Like boys slash through boy face, I don't know, something like that. But she knew that that was like, she's like, you gotta give your brother away. And then she just like scrapped that and she grounded me. So she grounded me from the apartments across the street. <coughs> um, that's my, my other friend Liz. She's, you know, in danger all the time. Um, but speaking of murder, how much time do I have left? Whenever. All right, one minute. Well, I'm going to go two minutes. Okay, I'm going to be a douchebag. So, um, uh, so one day I was at work. I work at PayPal. Anybody use that that stuff? I use it. I work there, and I'm a member. I'm a member, and I'm a and I work there. <laughs> um, so uh, I got a call, and it was like a voicemail that said, "This is uh, Denise from." Phoenix Homicide Unit. We want to talk to you about something. You know what this is about. And I'm just like, no, I don't. Um, so my right mind started racing. I'm like, what could this possibly be about? I'm like, on calls at PayPal, talking to customers. I'm like, I can't help you with pay your bill right now. I, I'm in trouble with the homicide unit. I'm just hanging up on all the calls. I'm like, until I get to my break, just like hanging up on all the calls. I'm like, I'm in trouble. Call back! Like, just, you know, because that's all I can think about. I have my mom's voice, apparently. Um, so, I get on my break, and I'm like, oh my god, what is this about? And the night before, there was um, a guy who helps the homeless. Like, I just helped that guy tell this joke to you guys. Um, there's a guy I met on set, on a film set. <coughs> and he helps the homeless. He puts together, like, care packages. Like, dressed up as presents. He wraps them up and like really, really sparkly uh, wrapping paper. And he like gives them, you know, like hands it. It's just easy, it's got like toiletries in it instead of money apparently. And he's like, here, have one. He just gave one to me and then he rushed off into his car and like drove off and I'm like, oh, this guy's really nice. And I started like shaking it and then I was like, wait, this doesn't sound like it has soap in it. It sounded like it had like a bag of tea in it. I don't think it's tea though. So I'm like, I need to get rid of this so I don't get pulled over and like have this in my car. So I like dropped it off into like a tree pot, ironically. Um, one of those little like tree vases, the big trees in a vase in Chandler, <coughs> downtown Chandler. Dropped it in there and I'm like hoping, it's up late at night, I'm like, please don't have cameras out. And I like go into my car and drive off. So like the whole time I'm thinking like, oh my God, what if this Denise lady's calling about, she's like, I know what this is about. So. What if she's calling to say that a homeless guy picked up the drugs that were in that magical homeless toiletry box and then he smoked it and then he killed somebody and then I'm somehow like liable, they found my fingerprints. So I'm just like freaking out. And then I finally call her and she's like, she's like, hey, um, this is about that guy you know that murdered two women 20 years ago. My friend, oh, just calling about my friend who murdered some people. So he's in prison now, it's pretty great. That's all it was about. It wasn't about the drugs. Oh, so better. I feel so much better. Oh, woo. Okay guys, that's my time. <laughs> I need April, stop me if you want. Let's hear it for April. <laughs>